أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله. This is what happens to a lot of people. What Islam is teaching us: hold his finger, and you help him cross the road. He can't do it, but if he holds someone's finger who can see, then he will be able to cross the road. وخلق الإنسان ضعيفا. Human beings are very weak. Allah is telling us, hold my hand. Hold on to Allah. وَاَعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا All of you hold on to the rope of Allah. Now you can do it. So now the person is never overconfident that I can do it. It's me. I wasn't able to do it. Allah told me that he would help me. And I got his help and I, get it, I got it done. So imagine what an important system that we have that خُلِقَ الْإِنسَانُ ضَعِفَ By our nature, we're very weak. We can't do nothing. And as long as we don't hold on to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we can't do anything. But once we hold on to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you are holding on to the hand of one, إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ who has power over everything. Now there is nothing that cannot be done, but it will not be done by your ability, it will be done by you getting His help and His support. Now we are telling people the haqq about this matter. The reality, the fact. The fact is, is not your ability. Is not you. Is not your education. Is not you being so well educated, being smart, having this ability or doing this. No, it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's help that you, you got his help. Now a person will realize when I leave home in the morning, I need some dua to recite. I need Allah's help. When I come back, I need Allah's dua. I need to make dua to Allah. I need Allah's help when I get into the house. When I'm eating, I need Allah's help. This food is not the thing that's going to give me the health. This food is not the thing that's going to save my life. Sometimes the same food that people think will save the life will take the life. The same car that a person thought that this will get me everywhere will get the person to the qabr. So, we don't know. We can't do it. We have no control over these things. Who controls it? Rabbul Alameen subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now a person will get into the habit of إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ will realize that my duty is to do the ibadah and then seek his help. If he would help me, if I get his help, then inshallah everything is done. Now, before I leave home in the morning, and I know that there is a lot of difficult tasks that I need to achieve today. I will make sure for this day, at least for this day, I don't commit any sin because I don't want to lose his help. I, I won't get his help if I disobey him. I'm upsetting him. I'm not, I can't expect his help. So I need his help. So now today I'm protecting myself. I'm doing extra working extra hard on myself, I'm not going to disobey him because I want his help today. My children went to school. I'm going to do my best to keep him pleased because I want him to protect my children from me. Now, what is it that I can do it when my children are at the school and they're being taught, they're working there, they're playing there, they're making friends over there. What is it that I can do? Here we will realize we have a lot of limitations of things that need to be done in our lives and we can't do it. So now I need his help. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said in a hadith, beautiful hadith. I'll just mention few passages of that hadith. Ya ibadi, kullukum dalun illa man hadaytu. Fastahduni ahdikum. Oh my servants, all of you are away from the path, are unaware, dal. Not necessarily misguided, but unaware of the right path. Ask me for guidance, I will guide you. We need guidance in every step of our life. Ya ibadi, kullukum ja'i'un illa man at'amtu. Oh my servants, all of you are hungry, except for those 
whom I would provide with food, ask me for food, I will provide it for you. O oh, my sons, kullukum arin, all of you are clothless, except for the ones that I would provide with clothing. Ask me for clothing. Did we ask Allah, or we thought I have the money I can buy it from this store? Did we ask Allah before we drink, or I thought I have the water, I can drink it? See how much we depend on our souls, and here where we need to understand, we need Allah's help for everything. We are making a major mistake in our life when we are doing things without getting Allah's help. And all the short du'as that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa have taught us for every occasion, mainly this is what those du'as will be teaching us. Get Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's help before you do something so that you can get it right. This is why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, short, small hadith, but told us a secret of these du'as. He said, when a person starts something with mentioning Allah's name at the beginning, Bismillah, that's it, Bismillah, you realize you need Allah's help. So you're studying it with Allah's help. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said that thing will have barakah and Allah will take it all the way to the completion. And if you don't say Allah's name, that thing will be stuck. See, it's all about getting the help, realizing, understanding how much help we need. As I said, we need to hold on someone's finger. We need someone bigger than us. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. How many times we say it? In every raka'ah, this Allahu Akbar is, re- is reminding us, you are weak, khuliqa linsanu da'ifa, but Allahu Akbar, and once you are holding into Allahu Akbar, that's it, then you won't be, then you get everything done. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us that special connection with Rabbul Alameen subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala khayri khalqih, Sayyidina wa Nabiyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluhu.